Today, I'm going to do an after action report and a brief discussion of gameplay regarding the Alamo Final Assault from DDG Games, which uh, Sarah was kind enough to send this to me, so thank you. Uh, and which is also part of the Heroic Stand series, which currently is a series of three games that uh, all have the same mechanics uh, of card play, trying to um, make your opponent, uh, you're, you're doing your last stand and make the AI run out of cards. So let's talk about what I ended up or where I ended up and then we'll talk a little bit about how I got there through gameplay. So there is the final result. Um, this is a case uh, or a game where I won. Hurrah, yes. Uh, I, I did the easiest level, so don't give me too much credit. I did level one. Uh, and this is your uh, times that you can uh, fall back and then draw a card. Because drawing cards is a is a scarce commodity in this game, drawing cards as the defenders. So this is a game where it's the Alamo. You have Santa Ana and his forces attacking you on four sides, and you are the uh, Texas defenders, and this is your draw deck. You start off with six cards, uh, and your goal is to fend off these four positions until the Mexican Republic runs out of cards, and that is exactly what I did. They ran out of cards uh, up here at this place at a Romero is where uh, my fly was able to back them off. Um, and when they run out of cards, then you're going to go to your Crockett cards. And, and you, know, you can use Crockett cards during the game. They give you a plus one to the die, and I'll explain that a little bit, or plus one to your combat value. But as you use these, you have a chance to lose stars. So I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stars is what I ended up with. So it's not the best you can do, but it's pretty doggone good. Again, this is the easiest level. So at eight stars, uh, tales of how you stood shoulder to shoulder with Davy Crockett, even when all looked lost, will forever be told. So it's the second best uh, outcome you can have. Uh, 9 to 11 is the best. There's 11 stars total. So 1 uh, with 8 stars, so I did pretty good. But again, I had the easiest uh, setting. So how did I get there? Well, uh, first off on uh, gameplay, uh, the first thing you're going to do is decide what level you want to play. You can have a set level, difficulty level. This is level 1. And then you've got uh, all the way up to level six. What this is going to do, this allows you to fall back six times. and But each of these spots lets you roll a die uh, and add to your combat value. If you do level six, you only get to roll a die on your... I think I went the wrong way. I think it's supposed to go up this way. It's up the thing. You get to roll a die on your last uh, last stand or final stand. This one, you get to roll your die, roll a die on the last two stands. I believe that's how it goes. I think it goes up the, up the chart. Um, I'll have to check on that. But um, you can set a difficulty level or you can use these random level cards. You'll take five of these and then add it to the last stand, which you get a die there. So I think it is going up the chart. But you have these random levels, uh, which, you know, like the cattle pin gives you a die. This is a fallback, fallback. Here's a horse crowd gives you a die. Low, low wall, no cover, pullback. So, you, you know, they, they, it's kind of random what you get in the random levels, you'll take five of these and add to the last stand, or you can just do a set level. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. Then you're gonna shuffle your Texas cards, shuffle the Mexican cards, and there's gonna be a face up card and a face down card. All my Mexican cards are face up because I, I uh, played a card that allowed me to scout or something, I can't remember what it was called, but you turn over the face down. But normally the cards are gonna be face down, and so you're gonna decide, pick a card from your hand, Here's a 16 to go against their cards. That's 17. I'm going to lose that. You got to equal or exceed it. But if you have one of these cards that lets you roll a dice, you get to roll a die. So there are 2 plus 16. Hey, there's math. 18 beats 17. So I'm good. If I want to make sure that's certainly good, I can use, because uh, I don't know what's behind this second card here. You, I can add Crockett cards at plus one, or I can add reload cards. You only have five of these, but I can add reload cards, which lets me roll yet another die and add it to it. That's the game. I mean, you you, you don't want to use too many Alamo or Crockett cards because you're going to burn your stars. And so if you do win, you're not going to have 
uh, a highest score. But again, if you don't win, then so what if you had a bunch of stars? Huh, I had that left over in my last game. Um, reload, you only have five of these, so you got to use those sparingly. Uh, if you beat this card, you get to discard it, and uh, you can continue fighting if you beat it, and then try to beat this card, and this was a 21. So if I had the 16 and 2 was 18, I would have beat this, but I would have lost to this. So that would have kept that out, and then I would have discarded my 16, and so it slows me down. I think, I, I can't remember if you have to fall back on that or not, but uh, again, you'll correct me on the rules. Another thing too, when you beat these cards that have the Texas flag on it, that's good because that means you get to draw a card. You can, the maximum you can have is six, but you get to draw a card. This is how you draw cards, is, is by this, or if you need a card, you can fall back and move up the scale, uh, and that allows you to draw a card. That's the only way you get cards, is one card at a time here, or by each one of these that you defeat. So that kind of that's kind of the, the the resource that you have to push the game. If you draw one of these, well, this this allows me to play with another card and, and add my attack value. So that would be plus five plus the sixteen. That'd give me fifteen. If you draw one of these, these are bad. These are final assaults. So this is going to take this time track here, which I got to here. So I was not too far away from losing here. If this marker ever gets to here, you lose the game automatically. So uh, there's, there's these final assault cards that are in the Texas deck, and there's a whole bunch of these in the Mexican deck. I drew all the ones in the Mexican deck, but luckily did not get to all the ones in the Texas deck. Otherwise, I would have lost. That's another way to lose. You lose if you get to the end of this time track. You lose if you run out of cards to draw uh, for the Republic, or, or really better yet, you cannot play an attack card. Uh, so if you can't play a attack card, if this gets to the end, the game over. Really, the only way to win is to get the Mexicans to run out of cards. That's where I ended up. Love to know your thoughts on this game. This is an interesting series. Doesn't take too uh, long to set up and play and, and burn through. And if you don't like the result, you, you try it again. You can also ramp up uh, different levels or go uh, of difficulty or go with uh, random levels. That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I'm covering, I'm going to, I've unboxed and now I'm going to play all of the ones in this series and uh, share it with you. Thanks all. Take care. Thanks for watching.